We cannot talk about this unless you have something interesting you want to say about it. Well, it's, it's classic McQueen tailoring. Yes. Classic McQueen yes. tailoring. So it's the bumpster, it's the sharp shoulder jacket, it's the split kimono sleeve. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful in not, an, you know, you wouldn't think there was anything particularly out there about it, but it's very intric intricate. The shoulder's very difficult and beautifully done. It's just yeah. beautiful tailoring. So I think that's probably why Katie has got it in there mm. because I can't think of anybody who, you know, there aren't that many great tailors. Junior Watanabe is a great tailor. Right. And Koji, who, Koji Tatsuno, who Lee also did some, worked with for some time, was also a great tailor. There aren't that many truly incredible tailors and Lee was and yeah. this shows that. Who did he look up to fashion-wise? Who would he sort of say, oh, well, yeah, I can be Magella, another great tailor. Really? Great, great tailor, great jacket. Yeah, that's a, he's, Margiela is a minimalist, nihilist, modernist. Absolutely, Margiela was, Lee was really interested in Margiela. Lee was really interested in Com. Right. Um, Com I knew about, because obviously, you know, we did work together. Those two, I would say that's, those are the two that, particularly perhaps Margiela. Right. Oh, yeah, much of an amazing modernist, but an yeah. amazing tailor, which I think, again, you know, often people don't necessarily see it quite like that. That's what's so interesting about, I think it's quite interesting about John and Margella, actually, because yeah. people have forgotten. But I've got a jacket that's by another big designer that I'm not going to tell you who it is, right. because I'm going to tell you that it's a Margella shoulder. And I right. know it's a Margella shoulder, and it's yeah. very high, and it's, it's not one of the great big broad ones, but you know, the relationship between the shoulder and the armhole, for example, was something that Margiela obviously yeah. looked at, and so did Lee, and I think Lee probably thought Margiela was the most amazing tailor and the most amazing man. I mean, Margiela also changed fashion, mm. actually. Did they meet? Do you know? I don't know whether they did. Right. They could have done. Just trying to think time-wise where, who would have been where. I mean, I never met Margiela because Margiela never met I mean, you may have met Margiela. I met him, yeah. Yeah, you may have done Really him. nice man. Yeah. Really, yeah. you can understand the sort of loyalty within his yeah. um, entourage to him. Um, and did it a very different way, and I think probably Lee had a huge amount of respect for that. However yeah. much, you know, Lee at the beginning did court press attention and then got bitten by it and then, you know, didn't understand what had happened in many ways. Right. Margiela never did, and I think Lee probably had a huge amount of respect. Yeah. And, you know, there are similarities, like, you know, Margiela's masked face. Mm -hmm. So Lee, or you saying it's not about the models, it's about clothes. So Lee's kind of uniform makeup that disguised who yeah. the girl was, was Margiela's mask. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know, the focus is on the clothes. Yeah. Um, and I think Margiela also, you know, that idea of you have to be able to do something really beautifully and really properly and really formally before you can take it apart. Yeah. That's Margiela too. Yeah.